Recently, RecRap2 bestowed me with an apple, a notch apple to be specific, a and his name's Steve. To repay his kindness, I decided to move in with him rent-free and build an over-engineered vault to store Steve. So I'm thinking I'm gonna clear out a little area. I'm gonna need a beacon. That actually might be enough iron. If my memory serves me correctly, I think there's a beacon shop. So let's squiddle ourselves over there. The Beacon Bacon Shop. One beacon is one diamond block? Uh, take my money. Oh, sweet, we got ourselves a beacon. You know, if I'm gonna move in, might as well make myself really present. Time to mine. Huh? Is that, is that instant mine? Now we're cooking with gas, baby. I figured if I'm actually gonna be living over here with Rec, I, I, I might as well at least, you know, make a nice little home and make sure that Steve is nice and secured because, I mean, that's what friends do. They don't build secret bases in other people's bases, steal things that are their prized possessions and then try to betray them and double cross them. No, 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 no. They help out by building beautiful things in their base. That's what beautiful people do. So I, uh, okay, that's the stronghold. Definitely the stronghold. Pretend it's not there and just keep building around it. That's not inconvenient at all. Oh god, I need to light this place up. Now this is gonna make for a really good little entrance spot. It's gonna come down a little cave here. We're gonna have a little you know, doohickey just right here. You know, I'm being productive, but apparently the Echocraft server is just not having that and they are just trying to stump me left and right. Hello? I see you, Branzy. Shalom. Okay, maybe you're just in the portal. Okay, boo. And it wasn't just Branzy. Where are those coming from? Get down, son. Now once the server was done kind of trolling me, I decided to take it upon myself to start gathering some of the materials for the centerpiece of our build. I thought, what's the best, most common deep slate ore you could possibly get? Diamonds! So that's exactly what I set out to do. So I started breaking down that beacon and setting up shop where I could start mining for some deep slate ore. Deep Slate Diamonds, huh? Yeah, I got like five. After two hours. Five. I need like 50. And if I want this video to be coming out this week, I'm gonna have to figure out a different solution. So we're just gonna shelf that idea for now and come back to it later. Okay, bit of a story time since somebody forgot to hit the big battle record button on his computer. I was trying to get some netherite because I thought it would look good in the build, while simultaneously flexing on my roommate, showing him how MLG I am at Minecraft. You know, always make sure to have your enchanted golden apple in your offhand. Steve. Is that Steve? Yeah, that's Steve. He's very beautiful. So that's Don't die. hot liquid. You want to go in it. It's a pro move. I'm just kidding, but I, I would never do that though because I'm a, a professional. Yep. Well, I ended up drowning in lava and I was scared. My stuff, all of my stuff was going to despawn and I had no clue where I died. But then Lucid showed up with a helping hand. All right, here we go. We made for some terribly stressful content. I don't like this part. And drop. You gotta make sure your stuff doesn't despawn. Oh, dude, that's the stress, baby. That's the stress. All the stuffies. All right. After Lucid saved me, things were looking up. I got my stuff, got some netherite, and continued working on the base. But something was wrong. Can you guess it? Here, hold on. Let me let me show you something. Thieves gone! I'm legit not even joking. And the funny thing is, I didn't even realize it until I got into bed. I R L. I messaged Lucid and he also didn't have it. And I know I didn't have it. And what worries me the most is I think he may have been misplaced in the flames of the nether. My soul was trembling as I feared I had lost Steve forever. I felt it was my duty to inform Wreck, his previous guardian. So, fun fact. Mm -hmm. um, I misplaced Steve. I may have misplaced him. <laughs> wait, wait, like for real? He might have been misplaced in the nether, in some lava. Might have, you know, you never know. Um, oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, don't worry, I'm a great babysitter. I thought he was gonna get eaten before he blew up, but 
I Oops. guess not. Now, for all you Steve stands out there, fear not. Our beautiful beloved is not gone forever. Oh, no, 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 no. He's simply in hiding. And as his baby said, I made it my number one priority to find him. After spending countless hours searching through endless desert temples, hundreds of dungeons, and copious amounts of mine shafts, I found him resting in a faraway chest deep within the heart of the world. Please, please, please be the one. Please, please, please. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Yes! Weirdly enough, he also changed his name. I, I don't know why he did that, because I just changed it back afterwards. And Oh, look at him. He looks so much better. You look so much prettier now. Now that Steve has once again been returned to the hands of the squid, we can continue working on the vault of Steve. Woo! Whoa, okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. I'm happy I record that because that scared me. Uh, okay, so I clearly can't be bothered to go back to my place and get the rest of my stuff. But, uh, it's not again. God, I thought I got rid of all of them. So here's my thought. I'm going to basically have right where this gold block strip is running around. Uh, allowed? I can't word. Right down here is going to be a series of doors that are going to open up sequentially. I, I think it's going to look really cool. Now, if I'm actually going to make these doors, I need to know how to do some redstone. So, I'm gonna make a Jeb door. I don't know how to make a Jeb door. Uh, I've seen- I've seen Mr. Mumbo do it a lot. And so now I just... Power it? Oh no, I've done something wrong. And that... And that should work. Oh, it does! Okay, oh, perfect. I'm a professional. So I was chugging away, making great progress on our beautiful Jeb door, and then Rhett kindly butted in to talk to me about something. Hey, yo, Chief! Yo. You want your TNT? Oh, right, for the, the blowy uppy bit. I'll just give you the TNT. Do you want the half stack, or do you want the full stack? Oh, you know How me. How ambitious are you? You know me. Do I? Do you want the full stack? Oh, I thought that was the half stack. Maybe you don't know me. You know what? <laughs> oh, do you oh God, me? that didn't work. <laughs> My reds... Run! No, okay, this is now just awkward. So you got the grand old entrance right here, you know, you're coming from the cave and you go, wa bam, wa bam, wa bam, wa bam. That is perfect. That is exactly what we want with this lock. Now we have to figure out a way to make that automatic. I think I heard somebody say repeaters. This should probably make it look super cool. Wait, I gotta take these off, I think. Boop. Oh, we have a new problem. Why well, I'd only have thick of power. So I mirror it. That's what I'm hearing. My redstone prowess is clearly unparalleled. Try this again. Oh. Yeah, wait, what's your problem? Do the thing. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Okay, I think this is gonna work. <gasps> yes! That, how is that, that was so cool! Oh my god, I could do this all day. I could literally do this all day. I honestly didn't think I could do that. That looks so cool! I was pretty proud of myself for figuring that door out. However, there was just one teensy little problem. So I hopped over to a creative testing world to see if I could figure it out. Pretend that these three lamps are our redstone doors. And every time you press the button, they're gonna open one after another because I want that cool like super spy effect. But that's great and all, but every time you press the button, it's always going from left to right, left to right. You want it to open, go left to right, and close, go right to left. But it's not going that way. Not yet, anyways. Enter the behemoth. Now, I, I don't think you guys really care. It's super simple. Mine carts, key flip-flops, jerry doors, whatever. But if we were to open this door, mine cart shoots off and utter joy but it gets even better close it oh 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 my goodness oh naturally you're thinking we need this in the world so that's exactly what we're gonna do okay i think we're all wired up if i place this button and i oh oh yes this is so nice Oh, it's coming back in. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. I've never done redstone before. No wonder people do this. Oh, this is so exhilarating. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Steve, buddy, you are going to absolutely love your new home. It's gonna be incredible. It, it's just gonna be great. Okay, one more time, one more time. Oh, oh, one more, one more, one more. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Clear out a little bit of this way for 
path. Ooh. Hello. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay, I'm alive. Woo! Alright, ghost blocks are the worst. And keep going. I think copper is gonna look mighty fine as our nice little stretchway right here. Yeah, this is looking good. And one other thing. Some of that. Oh no, you need to... I'm sorry, little one. I mean, at least I got the quartz. Oh, why is there so much quartz on the ceiling? I want some floor quartz, man. That that looks that looks actually really nice. And then I'll have to add another one here. Give it a little more headroom. One, two, three, four. Steve, I want to show you something now, okay? Now, now, now. I just want you to. Do you see this button right here? Yeah. I want you to press it. Really? Yep, yep. Just, just press. It. Okay. Good. Boy. Okay, that was pretty sick. I know, I know. What? It, it's, it's pretty awesome. Now we get to go to the Nether. Wait, what? Oh yeah, Steve can talk, and uh, I really want some Netherite blocks for the build. So, dude, relax. It's gonna be fine. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? No, wait, Steve. <laughs> fine. Get in there, Pansy. I'm sure we can do this without Steve. This is definitely the way. Oh, and would you look at that? Already scoring big. Okay, I'm gonna come clean. I abandoned the idea of adding netherite to the build. Now, would it have looked unbelievably sexy and made me a superior pro Minecrafter? Yes. 100% yes. But you see, at the rate I was going, there would have been no video for me to flex my super awesome skills on. Okay, look, I did the math. If I was only getting two ancient threes an hour, and I can only mine for two hours a day, I'd need a total of 1,008 ancient debris. That would literally take until the dinosaurs reclaimed the earth as their own. Trust me on this, I'm a professional. So as a close runners up, I decided to go with some chisel deep slate. Sure, I mean, it's a bit of a pansy step down, but <laughs> you all still love me, right? Right? Please love me, I need verbal approval from the internet to feel validated. Now, if you've been paying close attention, we need some deep slate diamond doors for the build. Why? I don't know, I think I'm insane. And through the power of communism, I was able to obtain just enough from our dear brands. What is this? Yeah. That there we go. Oh, would you look at that now that just doesn't that just look freaking dandy and open do not Interrupt my beacon. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Ah. Oh You snuck up up on me. You snuck up 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 on me up 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 wreck. You need to light up your base man. I guess it's our base now Oh, This is not my day. Oh My goodness I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna design this dang room. Chisel deep slate looks pretty good, I gotta say. Um. All right. Who do you, boo? I need some more gold because I ran out. I believe Lucid and Soli have this babe of a shop. Holy cow! One stack is five diamonds. Just know I love you guys. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking strips will look really really cool it's ironic how ornate and expensive this room is going to be for a worthless piece of fruit <sighs> that i love so dearly don't get me wrong totally forgot kind of need to carve this out get some slabs in here for some extra texture i think i'm just gonna snag this little guy right here i'm gonna put him right here if i start kind of bone mealing around we're gonna start spreading this sucker far and wide Pop a few ender heads right here just for some, I don't know, they, they, they kind of look cool. Yeah, they, they kind of look good. And we're going to get a glowing item frame and put Steve, um, where did I put Steve? Oh, there you are. Whee! And we're going to plop him right here. And then get a little sign that says, perfect. Goodbye, my friend. You're locked up. All right, video's over. And don't feel the need to stay for the last second of the video. It's it's not worth it, really. There's nothing going on.